Hey folks, Crazy Climber Eddie here again. And this time we're going to look at another up re-upload, and this game is called Bricks. This was created by Advanced Microcomputer Systems and licensed to Cinematronics in 1982. And uh, Advanced Microcomputer Systems became RDI Video Systems, which was founded by Rick Dyer. And they went on to produce... Uh, some laser disc titles like Dragon's Lair, Space Ace, and Thayer's Quest. But uh, they were initially known as Advanced Microcomputer Systems. But uh, this game is like Frogger. This is also known as, <laughs> get ready for this, Zizix, Z Z Y X X Y Z Z. <laughs> Or no, Z Z Y Z Z Y X X Zizix. I don't know where the hell they came up with that name, but that is how you play the game there. But uh, this game's definitely playable. It's got some great uh, classical tunes. But the goal of the game is to uh, cross this uh, path from bottom to top, and then top to bottom. And, uh, you are that green guy with the sneakers. And, uh, your goal is to get in these, uh, gaps in these rotating rows of bricks to, to move up or down the path. And you can collect prizes. These are gifts for your girlfriend Lola and she's a materialistic bitch who wants you to get her enough gifts to keep her happy and then you can go see her you know, she'll she'll be at the top or the bottom of the screen yeah gather enough gifts to make Lola happy your guy's name is Izzy you move him up and down through the spaces in the bricks um there's uh, some weird-looking enemy creatures that are also in the uh, gaps, and they will they will jump into another gap that's you know, in their effort to get closer to you and uh, eventually grab you. That'll kill you. We'll go ahead and get started. There's the there's the little prizes I can collect to make Lola happy. When she's happy, she'll make you you a wolf whistle sound to indicate that you can go see her. But you don't have to go right to see her once you get the uh, enough prizes. You can keep collecting them. Note that I'm blue now that I've that I've uh, reached her. You get temporary invincibility, and the enemies you can trap them for points by, like, pushing towards them with the joystick. The only other way to trap the, uh, the enemies is to collect a helmet icon. And it just passed at the top. And, uh, once you complete uh, the first two, uh, times of reaching Lola, then you get a little cutscene of you knocking the boxes underneath her and then squishing an enemy. So you can keep collecting prizes and that they'll increase in value by 100 points each time. But you have a brick button that will protect you from the monsters. And they can't get into the brick that you're in. And you'll want to be ready to do that often. Again, uh, you're temporary, temporarily invincible to start this level here, and the, but the monsters know this and they're trying to get away from you. You can pass through the edges, you know, warp over without any uh, penalty, like dying or anything, like in Frogger. But uh, there is a bomb that, that moves. 
that's a new enemy, and you have to watch out for that. But yeah, once you get that helmet thing, you can you can use it to push through a block and make a space where there wasn't normally one. Or you can use the button to trap monsters. Oops. Now, if you don't choose to get out of a space or a uh, when you put a block around yourself with the button, if you don't choose to get out, then uh, you'll start to flash, and the computer will soon force you to get out at the next opening, whether that be in an empty spot or a spot occupied by an enemy. And f now that we hear the wolf whistle, I can go see Lola. There we go. And the more uh, items you collect... Yeah, see, the monsters are trying to get away from me. Uh, the more items you collect, the more Lola is worth when you reach her. But yeah, you hear that, that falling sound, and that's the bomb. The bomb tries to reach you, just like it, the monsters do. Anytime you feel that a monster is close to uh, possibly jumping at you through the gaps, press that button to make the make the brick around you. And if you have like two lanes of gaps between you and the monster, the monster will jump all of them and reach you and kill you. Ooh, I just got the brick in time. This game's not bad. I saw this at a, a pizza restaurant arcade called uh, Getro's Pizza, which was next door to where my dad bowled league. No, way back in 1982. That might have been the only place I saw this game. It's not bad. I definitely like the music choice in this. And now I kick the rest of the blocks and save Lola. Great, uh, great musical selection, classic tunes. Really like that. But keep your keep your finger on that brick button. See that broken brick? Uh, that will that will uh, break and explode. And uh, I think if you try to push up when you're near that brick, you will die. Yeah, just keep collecting, collecting those uh, prizes will will up the value of finally reaching Lola, and uh, the criteria of how many uh, prizes you need to make Lola happy uh, increases, and then she'll do a little wolf whistle when she's ready for you to go in reach her. You're often screwed on this game, unfortunately, when, uh, when you build a brick around yourself. Oftentimes, you'll be forced to get out and you'll be pushed right into a monster. Whoa, <laughs> just got away from the exploding wall. Or brick. But anytime you feel that a monster could jump out at you, Be ready to press the brick button. <sighs> Dang it. But again, when you have the helmet, you can either break through a brick, or you can, uh, by the bomb. You can break through a brick with the helmet or you can use the button to trap a monster. Trapping the monsters can be semi-lucrative. Um, you can't score a whole lot on this game, but trapping monsters does, does definitely help. Any 
Tim, you feel like the monsters could reach you. Press the brick button. There, I trapped a monster. That was nice. Now I probably could have trapped the one just above me. But that was about to change. Yeah, if you don't, uh, if you don't rescue Lola, then you have to, if you die before you can, then you have to start the, uh, start your lap over. I don't know the names for all of these tunes that they play, but I've definitely heard all of them at one point or another. Yeah, oftentimes if if uh, especially if you're warping over to the other edge, then uh, you're often screwed um, because you've encased yourself in a uh, in a brick with the button, and uh, there'll be a monster waiting for when the computer needs to push you out, and you'll be shoved right into a monster. Monsters can get blown up by the bomb too. <laughs> Which is kind of cool. But remember that the bomb is sentient, and it will try to try to follow you like the monsters do. Not a bad game. I think I played it when I I did see it that one time in the arcade. Yeah, if, if you have a chance to uh, to uh, find a gap, like say below you and a monsters coming towards you above and you're about to be forced out <laughs> by all means move down you're in no particular hurry to get to Lola you're not timed so uh, don't worry about time or anything retreat down a level if you're going up and uh, try to find a safer path if you need to yeah I'm screwed oh nope ah I managed to get down, but that monster had an extra extra space to zip down and get me. But that was Bricks, also known as Zizix. <laughs> and I'm gonna put in my initials. They even they even start with Z Z Y, as in Zizix, for the letters. <laughs> but uh, I think Bricks is a much better name. But that was Bricks, also known as Zizix, created by Advanced Microcomputer Systems and licensed to Cinematronics. And uh, Advanced Microcomputer Systems later became known as RDI Video Systems, created by Rick Dyer. And they produced a number of uh, Laserdisc titles, Dragon's Lair, Space Ace, and Thayer's Quest. And I'd seen all of those at the arcade before. Yeah, using the button once you have the helmet can trap the monsters that are, you know, going by you. Lola wants more gifts. What a bitch. <laughs> well, that is Bricks by Advanced Microcomputer Systems and uh, licensed to Cinematronics in 1982. This is Crazy Climber 80 saying thanks for watching Bricks, Advanced Microcomputer Systems, and Cinematronics in 1982. I'll catch you later with another upload. See you then, folks. Bye-bye.